fresh and ripe fruits. So today, Saturday, it's here in Jardim Botânico. Other days in Ipanema, Copacabana. So there are small streets, so we don't can go along all at the same time. Uh, they will go in front, and afterwards I will, and in the meantime, I will tell you some small stories about Brazil, especially about the food. Uh, in 1496, uh, the, uh, Portugal has a very big debt to pay on England. The only way to pay this debt was the trade with India. And that, and that time, uh, they had to make the trip overland. On the, on the way to India, they will be robbed. On the back way, also be robbed. So uh, there was a sailor called Vasco da Gama who imagined uh, he will find a way overseas. So he discovered in 1496 Cape of Good Hope and contoured uh, uh, Africa, South Africa and reached India. Another Portuguese called Pedro Alves Cabral, five years after, four years after, in 1500, imagined that he went the opposite way of uh, Vasco da Gama. He will reach India sooner because it was a long trip. And a matter of fact, he reached South America and discovered this country. The first name he gave here was the land of the real cross, Terra de Vera Cruz. Afterwards, they changed the name and put the name of uh, the land of the Holy Cross, Terra de Santa Cruz. And definitely, they found a tree, and from the bark of this tree, you could get a, a, a red color to tie your clothes. And this tree was called Pau Brasil, Wood Brazil. And they cut that tree like hell. So that's why we became the name of Brazil. We are very related with nature because of that, because in our name is nature represented. Like Canada has a leaf, like uh, Lebanon has a cedar tree, we have in our name the tree, Brazil. That's the origin of our name. The Portuguese weren't interested to uh, colonize this country. They only wanted to explore, to pay the bill they had with England. So uh, they introduced in Brazil uh, sugarcane because there was a very, very big ask in Europe of sugarcane, sugar. So uh, they put the Indians to make this tough word in the hot sun and the, the Indian weren't accustomed to work in the hot sun, so they get ill, they get di they died, and uh, so they began to make slavery in Brazil. From their Portuguese colonies in, in Africa, Mozambique, Guinea-Bissau, Angola, they brought in millions of slaves to Brazil to work on this tough work in the sun for sugarcane. So uh, after that, uh, we began to have a, a mix of races here in Brazil because when the white population mixed with the, we call them niggers, be, pay attention to that. We call it niggers, they are proud to hear that they belong to the nigger race and not to a black race. Like you say in the States or in the United Kingdom, you, you say black uh, niggers to them and that's a bad word. Not in Brazil. In Brazil, you say African descendant, or you can say to them, nigger from the Regan, nigger race, they are proud because black is a color, another race. That's the difference to our culture here. So, the mix with the white people and the niggers brought us the mulattoes. The mix with the white people, with the Indians, brought us the uh, mamelucos. And the mix with the Indians and the Negroes brought in the local So these are the real race in Brazil, a mix from all the kind of races. That's why we don't have many of uh, uh, race racismus here in Brazil, because in matter of fact, all of the population in Brazil has a trace of all those other races. 
I'm Austrian, not Brazilian, so I'm a poor white man. You, you, <laughs> but, you were born in Austria? Yes. But I came into Brazil when I was two and a half years old. Uh, after the war, my parents decided to go away from Austria and uh, in Europe was everything bombed and destroyed. So they imagined to go to Canada. But all the ships to Canada were booked out. Suddenly came a ship coming to Brazil. Okay, let's go in that way. Lucky. So lucky I'm you. very <laughs> lucky. That's right. I'm very lucky. Very lucky. They, they are Canadians. Canadian. Yeah, yeah, well, Canadian. say that. I can't stand no cold. I love your country. I know, but it's cold. Wonderful, but I can't stand Nothing like no that. Cold. No. I agree. I can't stand uh, we, it we are almost in winter here, as you notice. Yeah. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and all the trees the whole year, all the nature is always green. We have fruit the whole years. That's why you yeah. will uh, have a uh, idea some of the fruits we have now at the moment we will try them and please before you eat the fruit you smell them. you have to smell the fruit so you recognize it in your conscience okay Very good. so let's go ahead